Hey guys, we're back in Ice Waffles, and today we're going to be playing some Attack of the Bee Team. Now, the reason I'm doing two episodes in a row um, of Attack of the Bee Team especially, is because I felt last episode was kind of a letdown, because um, I had a comment that said I want more Attack of the Bee Team, I was like, you know what, I will fulfill that wish. But then when I posted the video, I was like, yeah, I don't necessarily think this is what they mean. Because I was just kind of, um, what happened was, half the video got cut off because of, like, sound issues, and I was, I really hate it when that happens, because my spirits of making a video goes down, and I'm just like, ugh, I don't have time to deal with this. So, basically, I had to, um, just rush it, which I did not enjoy having to do. But, um, today's episode is going to be much more exciting, I assure you. Um, I hope I didn't scare you away with that other one, but it'll be much more exciting, I just absolutely promise you, don't not worry. In fact, I might even take that episode down. It was pretty crappy. I'll admit. I'll be the first one to admit that it was pretty, 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 pretty crappy. Ooh. Oh, um, okay. Catch wood. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is, um, we are actually going to be making those sifters I told you about. If uh, That was in the other episode, actually. So I might might have to keep those things, that episode up. But, uh, you make a sifter with this, and then paint through it, and boom. Got uh, three sifters. For now, we'll just keep it on the board of the ship. Also, I went ahead and got rid of the chair, and just added this. So, oh, idea, idea, idea. Oh, yeah, that is a great idea. Awesome. But, like I said, I'll add the sifters right here, probably. Um, right there. Right there, right there. They're not going to stay, because I don't think they'll stay with this. But basically, what you do is you have to go get some sand. So I believe I have sand in here. I could have sworn I had sand in here. Almost could have sworn I had sand in here. Um, But yeah, we're okay, making the sifters. And today, we're, what we're mainly going to primarily focus on is uh, maybe persuading this guy to uh, come with us back to the homeland. Because, um, he actually, can, he trades, as I think I've established in the other episode, and we want to his, we want his trades, because they're pretty nice. I mean, it'd be stupid to say they weren't, but they're pretty nice. But if he doesn't, um, you know, if he's not willing to come with us, we might just have to, um, you know, safari net him. Oh, yeah, I lost my safari net, didn't I? Crud, we'll have to do that in the next episode. I'm sorry, I hit my mic. Okay, let's just do this real quick. But, um, I think he'll come with us. I mean, even even if he doesn't, we can, like I said, we can always run home real quick and get a safari net. But, yeah, Tropicraft, um, the, our last few days will be in, uh, we'll, like, we're coming to our last few days in Tropicraft. So, yeah. What else did I want to say? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, what else was there? One thing I want to do before we leave is I want to get some fish because you can actually make uh, tanks out of them. Like, now you have to do your own design, but you can actually make your own uh, tanks. And I've seen tons of YouTubers do this, so I think I would like, you know, maybe to have a tank. Because I really, really, really have realized that I don't really have this, like, you know, um, what's it called? My, like, own little hangout spot in my base. It's just a base with a bed and all the stuff. So I want to make a relaxing uh, part of my base. It's probably going to be underground and it's going to have all this really really cool stuff in it. Is there like a reason why they're not popping out? I like Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, I probably I just realized I probably should uh do this right here. Now, I don't think I explained why we're doing this in the first place. Uh it's because you actually have to have like shells. Shells and stuff are the currency in uh Tropicraft, so they like shelves. I mean, who doesn't, right? We get purified sand from that. Interesting. But like, if we go over here real quick, to the trading friend, our trading friend, we can now our currency. Uh, if I just click on this, I. Oh yeah, yeah, I do this. Uh, and then this, then this. Okay, we have currency of five. Now, if I keep on right clicking, I can probably buy something eventually ooh yeah um oh cool and what the heck is what's this um okay 
That was weird. And I never, dude. Do you have your thing? Cause I. Oh yeah, he takes um, so he takes items, I believe. Like, watch this. Or maybe I'm just hallucinating and he doesn't take items. Oh, pearls. Okay. But yeah, I think he took items because that's where I lost my safari net last um episode. Yeah. Okay. So I'm so glad you cheated me out of my stuff. But we got this really cool Easter Island thing. I don't know. Um, no, oh, that's stuff back here. But yeah, we will work on that later. Um, we'll probably bring the sifters, uh, over to our back, back home. And like I said, occasionally we'll, uh, visit Tropicraft to, like, you maybe get some more sand. Cause, let me, Tropicraft is full of sand. Now, while those are sifting, I want to show you something. I, um, recently just did this. Like, I was on, on here trying to make sure I didn't. I won't forget anything, and, um, I accidentally did this, accidentally, and you'll see what I accidentally did, so I'm just going to, um, go ahead and make the video go black for a few seconds, so, like, maybe right about now, maybe, maybe, we're, like, at the six minute mark, yeah, probably right about now, and, um, you're just, you're gonna hear my voice, you're not gonna see what I'm doing, and the video will probably go back on right about now. So, you realize, we're not flying, no, we're not flying, but we're really, really high, like, that guy high. Well, yeah. I accidentally killed a bronchiosaurus, a bronchiosaurus, a baby one. So, yeah. We, are, we can now turn into one of these guys, and if you fly and, like, come back down, I think it makes a big mess, but what I like the most is if I walk... I basically can just destroy anything in my path. Look at that. Okay, let's... Oh, oh, no, okay. No, don't die. I mean, I'm just leveling the sand. If you wanted to clear a place out, I, I very much suggest this, because this is, like, a perfect way. Now, I don't honestly like this as much, so I'm going back down to bat mode, apparently. No, no. Oh, did you see that? He was so cool looking. Oh, what's this? Okay. But, um, I actually did that, and I was like, wow. Just, wow. Now, going back to something else, I don't think I actually finished, um, what I was talking about with the house. Um, I basically wanted to add, like, you know, this fish tank, and it's kind of very nice-looking, uh, type of room. It makes me feel very comfortable, you know what I mean? Kind of like I live in a very nice place. Now, while we're thinking about living in nice places, let's go ahead and, um, Get this. Too lazy to do anything else. Okay. Um, but I want to make this kind of very cozy room where I can just be like, yeah, I feel comfortable. Okay, we have credits 15. So I believe we can actually make one of these scale tray plates. Cocoa bomb. Blow guard. I think I have a fishing net. Um, I have a snorkel. I don't have flippers, though. So... I do have flippers, but they're not that type of flippers. I mean, and... Okay, so it basically means I can control where I go. Oh, interesting. I'll be honest with you, I like the... Uh, oh, I can't fly. Oh, okay. Um, but either way, I just... Interesting. Flippers, right? We can always bring that back home. And this is our home chest, if you guys haven't noticed. But, yeah, I want to make this relaxing room. And I think I'm going to put a fish tank in there so it's even more relaxing. Now, is there anything in here that I can, like, you know... Is there another page? Oh, yeah. Page not fine. We'll go ahead and get back to that later. Now, what do I want to do? Oh, yes, yes. I want to head back home. Um, I will actually do this off-camera. And I'm going to get a safari net. And I will be right back. See you in a sec. Okay, guys, we're back, and it just started raining, so I'm just making this trip back on feet, on flight, I should say, and I want to address something that I tend to do a lot, is I tend to get off subject, and then get back on, and then mainly at a point when you guys don't remember, like, I'll be talking about this, and then I'll start talking about another subject, and I was just pulling something up, like there, um, and then you guys tend to forget about what I was talking about, and it just seems really weird when I bring it back up to you guys. 
So, I want to start, like, you know, working on that. Because, like I said, there's a few things... Or, I've never said this before. But, um, I'm saying it now, so, yeah. There's always a few things that I feel as I can improve on as being a YouTuber who talks. I mean, most YouTubers do talk. But, I want to make, like... Sometimes Minecraft isn't that interesting, but I just need to show it to you because... It's in it, crucial to the series. So, in that case, then I try to make up for it by what I say. And sometimes by what I say isn't that interesting, but it's, it's something I have to say. Now, occasionally, like, I'll be talking about, later on in this video, I'll be talking about something with superheroes and the Avengers. And there my dog goes. So, I'm going to try to stay on task and, you know, be more, you know, one subject only. So, I thought it, this would be a great time to tell you. And, yeah. BRB. Okay, guys, we're back. And I have got a safari net. And let me get my safari gun out. I actually had to log off because the rain caused a little bit of, um, unfun lag. So, we'll do capture mode. And, uh, let's come in here nice and easy. Can, uh, you come with me, uh, Kano? Or, I'm not even going to try to say their name. So, we're going to make up a name for you. Anne. Can you come with me, Anne, please? Please come with me. You don't, you, did you did you hear that? He just like didn't even answer me, and his stomach did. Well, you know, what? taking this, eh. taking this. Yeah, yeah. You don't like it. See, oh my gosh, where'd he go? Where does it go? So you steal stuff, don't you? Well, you know what? I'll steal you. Yeah, they don't like it. Now, where'd he go? Because I, I don't believe I can make one, can I? No, I can't. Darn it. Monkey? He cheated me. First, he stole all my stuff. He stole my safari net. You know what? Forget you guys. Forget you guys. I am taking my business somewhere else. But I still can't believe they actually did that. I mean, I expected it from one guy. But they all, like, I saw them ganging up on me. I saw it. I seen it with my own two eyes. Let's get going. What? What is connected? Well, you know what? No. Forget that. It's not even connected. Oh. Really, man? Ah. Uh, no one cares. Okay, so, let's get going, guys. Sorry about that. I just, I knew something was happening there. I know, I, I knew I wasn't crazy or anything, but, you know. Either way, now we gotta go find another village. Oh, uh, great. I say we, uh, circle around this area real quick and see if we can find one. So, I'm going to a little conversation. Um, one thing I want to talk about is... Talking in general. I really feel as though I need to pacificize on this. And also, this is a good tip to YouTubers, um, or, or, you know, starting YouTubers. Talk about what you feel you want to talk about. And yet, at the same time, talk about what needs to be talked about. And this might sound really obvious, but it's hard to do sometimes, because you want to talk about something, but yet you don't know how to incorporate it. Don't try very hard to incorporate it. Just let it happen. And then talk, make whatever you're talking about interesting. Make the viewer be like, it might be math, but I want to listen to it. Now, I assure you guys, don't click off the video, but I will not be talking about math. Quick, what's 4 plus 4? Yeah, I did that. I'm joking. Um, my point is, though, make whatever you're talking about interesting. And I sometimes have a hard time doing that because I'm, you know, more focused on the game. I'll be honest with you, I'm a gaming person. I like to game, and I don't necessarily focus about talking. And, whoa. Oh, did you see that? It jumped out of the water. But, yeah. Um, that's mainly for, you know, YouTubers and stuff, and it can be used for anyone. Whatever you're doing, let it be, you know, funny. So, you know, very nicely. Oh, okay, good. Do you guys see it? Oh, this is a big one, too. And it's right by a volcano. Hope it erupts. Okay, so let's see. That was, that was mean. Dude. Oh, right out of the port. Okay, let's park this puppy. I'm so glad I added those stairs there. That looks much, much in, in much much more interesting yeah, 
This looks interesting. Okay. Boom. Okay, don't get attached. Don't get attached. Shift. And are we attached? No, we are not. Good. So, I guess I just, you know, jump. Hey, hey, you. Ow. Come on, come on, get, come after me. Come after me, fool. I'll fix that, don't worry. You are a jerk. Have I noticed, have I, wait, 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 wait. I believe a uh, normal pickaxe, because this is a Tinker Construct pickaxe, will actually, um, break this guy. Oh. You don't like it now, do you? No. I didn't think you would. I would assume most people would, but you, I was like, no, this guy does not know what he's doing. Okay, now let's fix this. And all we're here is, we're all, we, all we are here for is the trading post. Um, nothing else, but we're gonna have to kill the guy that, uh, who's there. I believe he's orange uh, pants, right? And that is a very weird looking thing. I don't know. I do not know how that's supported. Um, and I don't. I don't want to know how it is even. Why well, that made no sense? Something that doesn't make sense. That I really. I've been wanting to talk about with someone is the recent Adventure Time episode. Um, if you guys saw it, I'm not gonna. Actually, no. Wait. I'm gonna put a warning right here on the screen. There are going to be spoilers on this. So if you haven't seen it, oh, oh, look at that. It makes a message. Ikipik, I don't even want to say their name because I'm gonna say it wrong. And okay, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. My game just crashed for some reason. Um, either way, I'll not. I'll be the first one to admit that my uh, reading is not the best. But if you want a good reader, go to a good reader convention. Either way, though, there will be a uh, spoiler warning right now on the screen or somewhere in this vicinity at the 17 mark. And let me try doing that. Yes. Okay. I, did, I didn't. Maybe like actually trying to get it itself. Um thing maybe crash the game but there will be a spoiler warning on this video saying do not watch it or like you know don't watch to this or I'll give like maybe an annotation of when it's done spoiling about it but the recent um Finn and Jake episode or Adventure Time episode that was Monday at five o'clock sometime around that time um they actually had they it was showing Finn's father and Finn's you know mission to get his find get and find his father now, is there anything else we need here? Uh, let me look at my list real quick. I have a little list I made. Chore of the day collected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we're gonna actually head back home. And I really want to show, that, tell this to you. So just listen wisely. Actually, 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 I wanted to harvest one of these houses just because I can. So either way, um, I'd probably be this guy's house. Um, either way. Um, spoiler, I'll just let you guys know, one more time. So, this episode, you know, featured Finn's quest to find his father, and who was actually in the Citadel. For those who don't know, a Citadel is another form of prison. And in this case, it was for cosmic uh, criminals. And, um, they actually had to get to the Citadel, Citadel by talking to the, um, Shadow Dude. I forget what his name is. I actually have always forgot what his name is, but the one they talked to the shadow dude. You'll you'll just have to watch the episode, and um, I'll probably look up his name later or something. I don't know. And uh, he tells them how to get the citadel, and you basically have to make a, a uh, cosmic crime. And one of the in the cosmic crime is wake is killing a uh, you know wish maker or witch doctor or wish doctor, which that's what the shadow guy is. So he told them to wake him up. Um, which that would therefore kill him or kill the shadow of him at least his human form would human form would still be there. Now this is where the spoiler part comes in. Um, they, the before when it actually started there was a party going on and the lich was actually at the party. For those who do not know what I'm talking about, or for those who don't watch Adventure Time and don't care about the spoiler, the lich is like a very um in anything is a very horrible thing. It's like this magical skeleton looking guy who has magical skeleton looking powers. That made no sense. I don't care. So basically, the lich is at this party, and he's in a dormant state because of the wish doctor. I believe that's what he called himself, the wish doctor. Not witch, but wish. So I'm pretty sure. 
Either way, though, he's in this dormant state, and, like, basically, the wish doctor is telling uh, Jake, the dog, um, that, you know, he's not gonna, nothing's gonna happen. But I'm assuming by wake, tr by waking up the, uh, or attempting to wake up the, the actual human version of the wish doctor, the lich is, like, released from his dormant state, or something, or maybe he was faking it. So he ends up actually Here's the here's the part, guys. If you really don't want to listen, close your eyes and cover your ears. He actually ends up killing the human version of the Wish Doctor. Um, and I really hope I'm saying this right because I don't want to be going around saying Wish Doctor all the time and it being wrong and me looking like an idiot. Um, but that's probably the case. You know, we're gonna pretend like this never this place was never here. Um, now I'm gonna leave right here just so it, it looks most of the way the same. But yeah. Okay, let's get this. So, um, he ends up killing the human version of the uh, Wish Doctor, and that actually kills the Shadow version. That scared me. So, um, that's a big, big thing right there. And of course, you know, it's kind of like he's never gonna come back now. You know, you had the realization of when a, a character dies in a story, he's like, no, not happening, not coming back. And my dogs are barking. I apologize for that. Also, let me add a little side note real quick. The reason I'm getting uh, this stuff is because I'm going to recreate uh, the thing on my own, um, on the lake I live by. So, yeah. And my dog is just bark. My dogs are barking. Okay, so going back. He ends up killing the human version, and that therefore kills everything. Which is kind of a sad moment. Like I said, you, you just realize that character is never coming back. And, I mean, what I like about Adventure Time is it has this very funny thing to it. But yet, it has this very kind of, like, stay true to what it's doing. It's not like, and I, I'm not dissing Doctor Who, because I love Doctor Who. But Doctor Who kind of has these, like, really, I don't want to say it because it's not necessarily a nice word. But has these very, um very stupid excuses for bringing back characters that they just, you know, they wanted to make a big imprint on the fact that they died. But it's like, you know what, he's a Time Lord, so he came back. And, I mean, I'll, I like Doctor Who. I'm not going to be one to say I hate it. But sometimes they have these really just horrible excuses. I'm like, what? Where'd that come from? And it's like, well, he was a Time Lord, so he's going to obviously survive. I'm like, no, no, just please. And I'm going to move my boat over here. Um, but, I always kind of like that, it's just, it's, mm -mm. but, uh, the thing about, the thing about, uh, Finn, Jake, or Fincher Time, is it kind of has, like, it stays true to it, or at least I hope it does, and they usually have some, uh, a somewhat of a good reason for them, uh, you know, going away, or, like, they have a good reason for them coming back. Okay, so... That's one big thing, and I think what I'm going to do is, I'm pretty much, I'm finished up here, um, go ahead and move the boat real quick, but I'll continue this next episode, so remind me, I'm going to actually write that self to my, um, little note, adventure time con ten you a continue, okay, so either way, um, the, basically, after the Lich, you know, kills the uh, sh Wish Doctor, I believe that's his name, I really hope it is, um, like, they, that's a cosmic crime, so the Citadel people come and get him, and that was actually his plan all along, because he was going to, uh, he was going to go ahead and break out all the people there, which you're like, oh, just, that's a genius plan, but then at the same time, you're like, oh wait, it's the Lich, crap, Ow. So, you have this kind of feeling of, oh, that's really bad. Um, and then you also have this feeling of, cool. So, like, after that happens, uh, basically, you were like, the Lich's evilness has just gone up. So, continue, we'll continue this next time. I hope you've enjoyed this extra long episode. It's probably been like 20 or 25 minutes. I just wanted to make up for the kind of crubby episode last time, and I hope this wasn't a crubby episode. I try to fill it with things that might make you interested in what we're doing and things like that. So, hope you enjoy. Next episode, we'll be doing I Cthulhu on Terraria, and then after that, we'll probably be doing a mini game, and then we'll come back to this, or I might just go ahead and come back to this. Either way, though, hope you enjoy. Stay happy, and bye.